Okay, so yeah, hey guys, what's up? Thank you for watching this video. And I just wanted to, I don't know, uh, I just wanted to talk about this thing, this, this, this subject, this thing that I, I've been struggling lately. When can you consider yourself a professional? Am I a professional? Or am I just a hobbyist who occasionally gets paid? I feel like I can't say that I'm a, I'm a professional. The inspiration of this video comes from a guy that I really look up to. I put his link, I put his link, his channel in the description. His name is Evan Boisier. Not just because we both have the same name. I don't know, I just like the stuff that he makes and his story on how he got started and everything. We're, we're both pretty close. Not the same, but, but we both didn't go to school for this. We kind of picked up a camera, we liked it, and our skills kept on rising up. He has done way more cooler stuff than I have. He made a video about how... Oh, thunderclap. About how, you know, this, this takes a long time. This isn't just, you pick up a camera, you make a dope commercial, you make a dope ad, you make a cool YouTube video, you know, the right person sees it and bam, your Audi's gonna give you a budget to make a commercial for 500 grand or something. It's not, it's not like that, you know? You, you, you fail your way into success is what, uh, is a good saying. I should put that on a t-shirt. And he's, he's been at it for seven years, I think. So way longer than I have professionally. I don't know if he's been pay, being paid for the past seven years, but yeah. So I feel like I've gained a lot more knowledge in the past, like two years, past two years than I had back when I first picked up a camera when I was 10. I just have been doing it as a hobby and, and, but yeah, the past two years, I would say I've learned exponentially, like the curve of, of learnage is definitely going up. I think that my stuff I've created has definitely gotten better, but I feel like I just don't have a whole ton of experience. That's why I don't want, I, I want this channel to be like a, a journey, like a, this is probably even for myself. This is what I tried. This is what didn't work. This is what worked for me. So like I've, I made a video uh, a few weeks ago about product photography or just how to make your photos better by adding texture. That is just something that I actually learned from Peter McKinnon and I tried it in my videos, not videos, in my photos, there we go. And I saw that my photos, adding texture really enhanced the photo. So that's just something that I tried, I liked it, I wanted to share it with you guys. Something I won't say that I, am a professional at, but something I have felt more comfortable with, but I feel like my photography and my video stuff is slowly catching up to it, is that you see this little thingy on the screen back here. This is a, uh, this is a, a radio controlled car. It's not like the cheap stuff that you see at Toys R Us. It's not like the stuff that you see at, you know, Walmart or something. They, these cars, you, you, it comes in pieces and you put them together. Some of them are ready to run. Some of them can go hundred miles an hour. Some of them, it's crazy. The radios can have colored, colored touch screens and stuff. So, but, but this I've been doing, I've been doing these little cars for 17 years. So I can't, I don't, I don't say I'm a professional cause I'm not getting paid to make videos about that. Speaking of which, I make a bunch of videos about these cars. I'll put that link in the description as well. There's a lot of links in the description today. So I make videos about these, about these little cars. I can't say I'm a professional because I'm not getting paid to do it, but I do feel like I've had, I have a lot of knowledge just by trying stuff and things not working. So that's what I feel like I'm lacking in these kind of things. But that's something I've been struggling with. Is that can I call myself a professional? And when can I call myself a professional? If this guy feels like he can't teach people when he's been doing this for seven years, been making dope stuff, been making really good stuff for Facebook, ESPN, and you know, why uh, do I feel like I can teach people? I guess that, that that's it. At what point can you call yourself a professional? Yeah, so I guess that's it. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> it's kind of a different video this week, not exactly talking about, uh, you know, editing techniques or, or adding textures to stuff. Just, just me talking, just me talking. Yeah, I think, that, I think that's it. Uh, if you guys liked what you saw, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also hit that notification button, you guys will be notified every time that I upload something. And I'll see you guys next week. Oh, that's perfect timing. The screen went right off as soon as I was finished with the video. Boom. I think I put it on another video. I've been wanting to go daily. I just am not sure if I should go daily. I'm actually kind of scared to go daily. So if that's something you guys want to see, I know one of you guys want to see me go daily and there'd be tiny little videos, kind of like how uh, Cody, Cody Warner, I believe his name is, how he does stuff. So yeah.